know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance. He's the reason my feet are moving. He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap, clap, clap to the sound. Jump. Someone who makes me dance He's the reason that my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands And clap, clap, clap to the sound Jump, yeah. jump up and down Let's go. Spin, spin, spin all around I'm singing it out One, two, three, four Jesus is the very
time for, oh, hey. Yes, of course, it is oh. time. Hi friends. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Art Rages. Art Rages. And, and Easter. Happy Easter. Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, we are so excited that our elementary and our pre-K friends are all joining us so that we can celebrate Easter together. Yeah. So, yeah. You want to tell me about these? Well, I, there's, <clears throat> yeah, there's cupcakes. Kristen, uh -huh. Easter is my very favorite day of the year. Yeah? Yes, very favorite. And so I just thought, you know, I want to celebrate Easter in a special way. For sure. I thought I'd get some little um, chocolate cupcakes. Nice. And yeah, just have like a little Easter treat, you know? Nice. Yeah. So, but how would you feel about like sharing? Well, Maybe. I mean, chocolate's my favorite. I know. But, yeah. Okay. You don't have to. But okay. Like, well, you're my friend. Yes. I would like to share with you. But here's the thing. I will share with you if you can blow out all of these candles in 10 seconds. Oh, my it? friends and I are going to count. Okay. We're going to see if in 10 seconds you can blow them out and then I'm going to share one with you. All right. Okay. Friends, are you ready? We're going to count to 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. What the? Oh. Got him! Oh, you did! Got him! Wow, Kristen, good. <gasps> what the? Kristen, you, wait a minute. You thought that you got him, but um, yeah, Kristen, I, I don't think you're able to do this actually. What? Yeah. Well, what? Uh, that's what? that's disappointing. He didn't get any of them blown out. Hmm. Friends, you might know what happened, dear. These are actually trick <gasps> candles. Yeah. So what? they're made to relight after you blow them out. And um, Kristen, because you're such a good sport, I think that maybe after the video, I'm gonna share one with you anyway. Oh, okay. thank goodness. Yeah, because I'm a good friend. Like well, yeah. Um, yeah, you are. <laughs> well, friends, you know what? Believe it or not, this little candle gives us a great picture of what happened during the very first Easter. True. And I will explain why in a little bit. But first, Miss Kristen is going to share our special Easter story with us. Yes. Well, friends, before I get too deep into our story, I want you to pause the video and grab some art supplies today. Maybe a sheet of paper and some markers. You can grab whatever you want. But this week, you are going to do something a little bit special, and you are going to divide your paper in two. So if you want to fold it in half or just maybe draw a line down the center so that you've got two pieces, because our story has kind of two distinct moods to it. So you are going to have time during our art breaks to draw both of those things. So grab some art supplies. And if you would like to also grab your Bible, we are going to be in the book of Matthew chapter 27 today. Heidi, are you ready for, for our Easter story yes, today? Yes, I am absolutely ready. Easter is my very favorite. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a big, important day. So friends, you probably remember last week, mm. we heard how Jesus was arrested for saying that he was the son of God, even though that was true, right? Yeah, he really is the he, son of he God. He is the son right. of God. Yes. And on the next day, a day that Christians call Good, Good Friday, Friday, the mm -hmm. soldiers who arrested Jesus began to make fun of him mm. and pretend like he was a king. Yeah. So they put a purple robe on mm -hmm. him, they put a stick in his hand like it was a scepter, and they even twisted thorns together and put it on his head like a crown. Yeah. And then they hit him and they laughed at him mm -hmm. and they even spit on him. They mm -hmm. treated him really horribly. And when they were finished, the soldiers led Jesus to a place called Golgotha, and that means the place of the skull. At Golgotha, they nailed Jesus' hands and his feet mm -hmm. to a wooden cross. And even though he had done nothing wrong, Jesus hung on the cross to die. Can you imagine how sad and painful mm, that must have no. been? Mm -mm. Man, and finally, after many hours of suffering, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, It, it is, is finished. finished. And then it was silent, and Jesus had died. Mm. Now friends, I know that this part of the Easter story is sad, yeah. but we also know this is not the end of the story. Mm. And that's why you have two spaces on your paper today. Yes. So we're going to take a quick outrageous art break. Mm -hmm. And on one side of your paper, you're going to draw this part of the Easter story. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. See you in 60 seconds.
Now, after Jesus had died, a man named Joseph, who was a follower of Jesus, mm. he took Jesus' body down off of the cross. And Joseph wrapped the body in a cloth. And then, with the help of Jesus' mom and his friends, he placed Jesus in a dark tomb. Right. Now, this tomb was like a cave that was cut into rock. So then they closed the tomb by rolling a giant stone in front of the opening. Yes. And on Saturday, the very next day, mm -hmm. The Jewish leaders who had killed Jesus mm -hmm. began to worry that Jesus' disciples would try something. They mm -hmm. thought that the disciples might steal Jesus' body oh. from the tomb to make people think that he had been raised from the dead. Right. So Pilate, a Roman governor who was in charge, said to his guards, Go, make the tomb as secure as you can. Mm -hmm. And immediately the Roman guards went to the tomb to make sure that it was absolutely secure and that no one messed with it. At least, mm. that was the plan. Really yeah. So early the next day, on Sunday morning, Jesus' mom and some other women went to see the tomb. Mm. But when they got there, something happened. A huge earthquake shook everything. And an angel of God came thundering down from heaven. And with one little baby push, the angel rolled that giant stone away from the tomb. And it was like nothing had ever been there. And he sat on that stone. And the Bible says that the guards were so scared by what had happened that they shook in their boots and they even fainted to Ooh. the ground. Now mm -hmm. that the angel had turned his attention to Mary and her friends, he said to them, don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified, mm -hmm. but he is not, not here. here. He has risen just as he said he would. Yes. Come see the place where he was lying. So Mary and her friends looked inside the tomb mm -hmm. and... It was empty. They what? were afraid, but they were so happy at the same time. They could not wait to share the good news with Jesus' disciples. Right. So they ran yeah. as fast as they could to tell them about what they had seen. And as they were running, mm. something happened that they never expected. Ooh. Suddenly, Jesus appeared right in front of them. And he said, hello. The women could not believe it. The last time they had seen Jesus, he was dying on a cross. Uh. And now, just three days later, he was alive again and talking to them. And he, they went to him and they fell to his feet and worshiped him. And the angel of, the God, of God was right. Jesus, Jesus is, is alive. alive. Can you say that with us? Jesus, Jesus is alive. Yes. Now, let's take the second half of our sheet of paper and draw yes. this amazing, incredible part of Easter mm -hmm. with our second art break. We'll see you in 60 seconds. Friends, do you remember the candles from earlier? I sure do. I said that they gave us a picture of what happened during the first Easter. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Hmm. Jesus is sometimes called the light of the world, yeah. right? Well, in our story for today, Jesus' enemies killed him on a cross, and it's kind of like they blew out the light of the world. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That light but of the world ain't blown out. Did it stay out? No way! After three days in a tomb, count with me friends, one, two, three, after three days, Jesus, the light of the world, came back to life, mm -hmm. just like this candle. And that, that's what Easter is all about. Not about the cute little bunnies or the Easter egg hunts or the candy. Easter is about celebrating that the light came back to life. It's about celebrating that Jesus was dead, but now he He's alive. is alive. That's right. And that's not all, friends. If you are a follower of Jesus, you're kind of like this candle, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, when God raised Jesus from the dead, he raised us from the dead too. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, hold on, mm, I don't remember being dead. Well, I hate to break it to you, but you kind of were. Not really dead in a grave. The Bible says that before you followed Jesus, you were spiritually dead. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the light in your heart had been blown out and you were living away from God and you were surrounded by the darkness of your sin. But, hmm, hmm. did that light stay out? Hmm, think about it, friends. When Jesus came back to life on that first Easter morning, he defeated sin. And now, if you follow Jesus, your sins are forgiven and the light in your heart burns bright for Jesus and you have a new life in him. Mm -hmm. That is the real Easter miracle. Yeah. You, we, all of us, were yeah. once dead in our sins, but now, thanks to Jesus, we are alive. Exactly. And that is exactly what our memory verse says for today. Friends, our memory verse today is from Romans. 6 verse 4 and it says just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of our Father we too may live a new life so Heidi I think yes. we should learn some motions for oh, this for Easter we should yes all right friends some of our signs are American Sign Language so the first one is Christ we'll say just as Christ, Christ. make a C across your chest just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father we too may live a new life. Mm -hmm. And then open your Bible. Romans 6 verse 4b, B. the second part of that verse. Okay, mm -hmm. let's put all of that together Kay. and let's try it from the top. Are you ready, friends? Yeah. Here we go. Just, Just as Christ was raised, raised from the dead through the, the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Romans 6 verse 4b. Yes. Friends, that is also what our big idea tells us today. Our big idea says Jesus is alive. Right. So we can live a new life in him. Can you turn and say that to someone in your family? Jesus is alive, so we can live a new life in him. Yes, that's right. And my pre-K friends, you know that every week I always have a really important question that I ask you. This is a new month, so I have a new question for you. I am going to ask you, who wants to be your friend forever? And you are going to say, Jesus wants to be my Friend forever. forever. Remember the sign for friend? We hook our fingers together like this. Let's try that one more time, okay? Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, that's right. Jesus is alive and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. So let's take a moment to pray and let's thank Jesus for this new gift of life in him. Friends, can you fold your hands and close your eyes and let's talk to God. Father God, thank you so much for Easter. Thank you that you love us so much that you gave us your son, Jesus, to die for us, but then to be raised back to life so that we can have new life in him and so we can have a relationship with you that will last forever. Thank you for this miracle of Easter. Thank you for this gift of new life and thank you for loving us so, so much. We love you. In your name I pray, amen. 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 All right, friends here at the church, you know that we are going to add our big Bible story image to our timeline to remind us that the reason we celebrate Easter is because Jesus died for us and Jesus is alive. Mm -hmm. And that means we can live a new life because of him. Exactly. Now, Chris and we have a pretty fun connection activity for our friends today because Very we fun. want you to tell everyone this good news of Easter. We want you to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. Mm -hmm. But Kristen, I think that maybe for this connection activity, we should head outside. Love what do you it. think? Yeah, All right, that sounds friends, fun. We're gonna see you outside. 
Hi friends! So we thought that for today's connection activity, you could create something using some sidewalk chalk. You could draw something called the sidewalk gospel. This gives you an opportunity to share the story of Jesus with your friends. So let's take a moment and let's walk through it together. All right, so in the beginning, God created the world. So I'm going to start with a big circle. And everything in it, including the people, that's all that God created and he said, it is good. So let me draw a little smiley face here. Well, you might remember what happened next. People sinned and we were separated from God. We were separated from our perfect creator. So this will represent us and this will represent God. But because God loved us so much, he had a plan. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. So next, I'm going to draw a cross. But you know, we just learned about this. Jesus did not stay dead. After three days, Jesus came back to life. So now I'm going to draw a three. And another one. Like this. In fact, when people saw Jesus, they even saw the holes that were in his hands and feet from where the nails had been. Friends, this gives us a way to be made whole again and to have new life in Jesus. All we have to do is admit that we are sinners and believe that Jesus came and he died for us and then we choose to give him control of our lives. This is a way that you can share that gospel story and the story of Jesus with your friends. That's why we call it the sidewalk gospel. And in the end, it's a cute little butterfly that you could color. So friends, thank you so, so much for joining us for another edition of Outrageous and happy, happy Easter. I'll see you next time. Bye.